It's got another Porsche 356A Outlaw by Hot Wheels for you today. Let's take a look and see what the fandom folks have to say about it. Porsche 356A Outlaw debut series Hot Wheels showroom produced from 2016 until the present. Designer was Mark Jones and the original SKU was DHP 11. The description is as follows. This Porsche 356A Outlaw is the second installment of the Porsche 356 Coupe introduced in 1956. The 356A is often called among its enthusiasts the T1 because of the factory designation Type 1. The Hot Wheels casting is detailed with notches to simulate the ventilation for the rear fitted engine and a fuel filler cap through the hood. This casting is modeled after a lightly customized 356A by Magnus Walker. Okay, let's take a look at this car starting from the left of the photo and heading to the right. First thing you see is the taillights. They're not painted. You'll see that grill that they talked about in the description over the engine there. Then you see the black with gold trim around the rims wheels. That's pretty cool. Blacked out spokes on there. I think those are five spoke wheels. Yes, they're five spoke wheels. Be great if the car had Fuchs on it, but the car doesn't. So this car might be up for a rewheel. I'm not sure about that. Coming back up to the back window, we see on the passenger side that it's got the little vents there inside there to cool the cabin out. Clear glass in that window. No glass in the passenger side window of the door. There's no door mirrors on this car at all. Car is finished in a, despite what it might look like on screen, it's more of a, it's like an in between a flat black and a black. I would say more to the flat black side of black. It's, it's kind of a satin look. We've got a door handle on the passenger door there. It's really nicely done. It's, it's got a little cutout and then the door handle actually extends out from the little cutout. So the handle is really done nicely on this car. We got the Urban Outlaw symbol on the door from Magnus Walker. His copyrighted trademark there, I'm sure. We've got Outlaw along the bottom of the car. Looks really good, especially in the color. Matches the wheels very nicely. That would, that would be one reason for not rewheeling this, tire, this, this car because the wheels and the tempo work really well together on this car. Got another Urban Outlaw up there on the right front quarter panel there. That's the British version Urban Outlaw. Now it's not done very well. As you can see in the photo, it's kind of kind of one big blur of white with a little bit of blue and red in there. That, that piece of tempo, when it come off the printer, it did not come off very well. We can see the gas filler cap up there up front on the hood, that in red. Looking at the front of the car, you'll see, first off, the headlights are not painted. Neither are the leather straps that hold the hood down. The tempo in the middle of the hood, the two stripes, the reddish orange stripe and the gold stripe, they look really fantastic on this black. I really like that look. The air inlets are done really well. I'm not sure you can see them in this photograph, but they got a, there's a little grill in there. They actually modeled the grill. Then the turn signals are not modeled at all. Overall, kind of a poor look there on this car. I think it could be done better. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but if you look at the left side of the photo and then look at the right side of the photo, it almost looked like this car's metal casting is lopsided. It's not symmetrical. I'm not sure if that's the trick of the light or a trick of the fact that perhaps one of the wheels is more inboard than the other wheel. As we all know, Hot Wheels, the wheels on Hot Wheels cars will slide a little bit to the left and the right inside of the inside the fender housing there. And that could be the case here, making it look lopsided, but it definitely doesn't look even in the photo. Interesting point there. Coming around to the 10 o'clock position, you can see that the Urban Outlaw symbol on the hood is actually rotated so that it actually points almost to the 10 o'clock position. Pretty cool. You can see that there's a couple of places for the windshield wipers to connect there. That's really cool. I don't believe there's any windshield wipers on this car, but there's a place for the connection there. It'd be great if Hot Wheels had stuck somehow or another a windshield wiper on this on here 
Perhaps they could have done it in, in the glass, but they didn't. Once again, the tempo on the British Urban Outlaw is not done very well. They had a bad, bad spell with their printer apparently that day. You can see the interior of the car is in red. I believe that red is the same as the red on the fuel filler cap, so they probably use the same plastic. It's also very close to the tempo red of the stripes on this car. It's, it's a great look and it complements the car very, very well. They did a great job with the black, the gold, and the red mixing them up on this car. It's a great looking car. In this image, you can see the Urban Outlaw on the door done very, very well. It's encir encircled there with a the gold piece of tempo. The red steering wheel shows up very well, and the vent in the rear window shows up very well. Overall, this is a great looking car, even with the missing front and rear tempo. In the rear of the car, you can see the engine cover has a lot of vents in it. You got the two center ones, and then you got the vents on the sides of the center, two center ones. Coming on down, you can see the tail lights, turn signals, you can see the two exhausts, really cool looking. And then right at the very top, you can see that striping in the tempo done. It looks really great from the rear. The four o'clock position re reveals the Urban Outlaw on the door done really well. It really shows the vent in the rear quarter panel window there. Shows the B pillow really well. There's, there's like a line in there for where the door closes. It shows the interior very well. I like that red on the interior. It suits this car extremely well. Okay, let's flip it up on its side and take a look from the plan view. In the plan view, you can see the vents really well in the engine cover. You can see that clear black, clear back window. You can see the tempo on the roof of the car. Once again, you can see the clear windshield. You can see the two windshield wiper mount points. You can see the vent between the windshield wiper mount points. You can see that red gas filler cap. You can see the urban outlaw at the obtuse angle there. Once again, you can see the striping in the tempo there on the front of the hood and how it is cut out for the urban outlaw, really nicely done. And then you can also see one of the straps on the car holding the hood on really well. In addition, you can see the non-painted headlights fairly well. Bottom of this car reveals a couple of exhaust pipes, got a muffler on there, got the engine, got the transmission, then you got your standard Hot Wheels 2016 Porsche 356A Outlaw on there, and got your Hot Wheels swoosh. Coming on across, you see some suspension elements there. You see that the wheels are very narrow. The the track on this car is very narrow, so this is a much smaller car than most Hot Wheels, quite frankly. It doesn't do very well on down the track. It tends to sway from side to side, so it's not a track car. It's merely a showpiece. So, there you have it. It's a great looking car. It could be better. It has a lot of opportunity for a person to come in with their Sharpie, perhaps some acrylic paint, to paint this car, to put some headlights on it, to put some turn signals on it, put some tail lights, turn signals, perhaps paint the exhausts. It would look fantastic with a little bit of paint on it. So I would suggest that you do that, and I may do that to this car. I may put some wheels on it, although I do like these wheels a lot, and I'm really questioning whether I should do that or not. Hope you enjoyed the review. Come back for the next review tomorrow, and we'll see you there. Please like and subscribe.